Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some grumpy sunshine romances. Grumpy sunshine is a fan favorite trope, okay? It is. I feel like everyone loves it. I've not met a person yet that doesn't love it. It's one of my favorites. So here are 10 recommendations for you, 10 new recommendations. I do have other grumpy sunshine recs down below as well. And one of those videos is like grumpy heroine sunshine hero. So if you're interested in that specifically, I don't like calling it reverse grumpy sunshine because that's stupid. Um, Cause that's not what it should be called. It's just grumpy sunshine. So um, yeah, those are down below if you want even more recommendations. But here are 10 more that I have not talked about yet in a trope video for grumpy sunshine. First I have All Downhill With You by Julie Olivia. Our heroine of the story is very unlucky. She actually got injured on the same roller coaster twice and she is suing people who created the roller coaster because there's obviously something wrong with it if she got injured on it twice. She works at the theme park the roller coaster is at and the man who created the roller coaster like was the architect behind it shows up to try and either fix it or create a new one for the park. And it's actually their romance. The heroine loves this amusement park so stinking much like loves it with every fiber of her being it means so much to her and this hero just can't fathom that he's like why do you keep going on this roller coaster why are you in love with this place i don't understand it but it is their grumpy sunshine romance it's really fun i love the theme park aspect i'm actually currently reading book number two it's great i actually get to see these two characters in the background of book number two but this one is more of like a slower burn romance i want to say but the connection is there right from the get-go the hero is the grump and the heroine is a sunshine she is suing his family like company because of her injury she's not able to run anymore and she loves running like running is the thing that helped her like escape her in her thoughts and her brain like they it would help her just find peace i guess it's just run around the park like jog in the morning and she can't do that anymore because she has horrible chronic pain because of her injury and the hero and his family just think that she's out to get money as, as much money as possible basically but he has no idea about what she's gone through and he like learns more about her and starts softening towards her and loving her. It is really sweet. Mickey Chambers' Shakes It Up by Cherish Reed is a fun one. So this one's like doubly forbidden as well. So our heroine has a chronic illness. I think she has hyperthyroidism, I wanna say, and she can't really afford her medical bills. So she needs another job. She works as a English professor at the local college for the summer. And so she decides to get a job at a local bar where our hero Diego, Diego owns the bar. He owned it with, I think his late wife and it's their romance. Diego is her boss, right? So that's like forbidden. But then they realize like Diego is taking some summer courses at the college and the heroine is his professor, like online professor because the class is online. They never like see each other. They realize, oh my gosh, wait, you're my boss. And he's like, you're my teacher, like, what <laughs> but yeah these two fall for each other Digo is like the ultimate grump but he has like i feel like social anxiety he never like says that but like the way that he communicates with his customers like he i feel like is so anxious talking to people and the heroine is just like a bubbly ray of sunshine and she's so stinking cute and he's like baffled he's like how can like talking to people be that effortless he just like he wants to know all of her secrets now we have a grumpy heroine and a sunshine hero this is teach me by olivia dade these two characters are older than what you would typically see in a romance book i think they're in their 40s and or 50s the heroine works at a high school in a small town called marysburg and she teaches history to high schoolers and one of her favorite classes has been taken away from her and given to the new teacher she is really upset she loved that class loved those kids and so she's bumped like really bummed and actually really mad and petty acting petty towards this new guy he has no idea that like they took away her favorite class like he's no he just showed up and he was like they were like here's this class so he's gonna do everything to like befriend her and show her that he's not a bad guy like he just wants to get to know her be her friend and she has this like confident plus size woman who takes no crap from anyone so i love both of them it's really good it's one of my favorite olivia date books one of my favorite books of the year so far is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I was obsessed with this book. I could not put it down. This one's a second chance romance. Our heroine is a wedding planner and she has like the wedding of the season. Literally like everyone's gonna go to it. It's for like famous people and influencer or something like that. They want this specific florist at their wedding and she's like, crap, guess I'm gonna have to bite my tongue and just go up to him and talk to him because that's like a guy she used to have a thing with a few years ago and so they don't really they didn't really end things on great terms so it's kind of a second chance romance but i love the way julie soto wrote this book because the present day chapters are in the heron's point of view and the past chapters are in the hero's point of view so the chapters like flip-flop 
where you get to read about them when they first got together and present day and like you're trying to figure out why they're not together anymore like what happened to them and it is so fun the hero is like this grumpy florist dude covered in flower tattoos and i'm obsessed with tattooed men but specifically men tatted with beautiful flowers like Oh, yeah, make me swoon. Next to you by Hannah Bottom Young is my next one. This is another grumpy heroine. This one's Lane. Heroine's name is Lane. And this is a romance with Matt, who is like the sunshiniest cinnamon roll hero ever. Lane is going through some stuff mentally. Um, she has anxiety and she's also kind of going through an identity crisis. And one night when she's spiraling, she's scrolling on her phone and comes across a school bus for sale and she decides to buy it and she's gonna fix it up and make it into essentially like a mobile home and Matt is her friend it's a friend still over his romance and he helps her fix it up essentially because he owns this mechanic shop and they work together through them working together on this bus they spend more time together they kind of maybe admit their feelings they have because both of them have these unrequited so it seems unrequited feelings for each other so it's really cute lane is like grumpy for the grumpy sunshine aspect but i feel like she's a little more like closed off than grumpy you know what i mean so i don't know if grumpy would be the full characterization of her but she gives like this romance gives those vibes so next is his to sorrow by amelia rossi this is a mafia romance that was really good i read it i think last month both characters get set up in an arranged marriage as many mafia romances do they're from i believe rivaling mafia families and the first time they meet is when the heroine is rolling herself in her wheelchair down the aisle and there's a lot of stigma and ableism in the mafia world and so the way the hero went about finding out she had a disability was like yeah yeah the way he treated her i love him i i love this man okay um he tried to learn as much as possible about her and her medical condition it's an it's a sister condition to my own so i really related to her and so she's able to move around she is able to move her legs but it can be painful very painful for her to walk so she uses a wheelchair but then she also has a walker like i have a walker so i really related to her but he is a very stoic grump okay before he meets her like he is definitely also like i hate everyone in the world but you so he's only soft for the heroine but at first he's very grumpy and gruff like doesn't really want anything to do with her but is gonna be respectful towards her the heroine makes him soften towards her <laughs> like he becomes an ultimate like softy for her will do anything for her like draws baths for her gets her a freaking dog he's down bad down bad for her. <laughs> Next is book number eight in the Imperfectly Imperfect series by Neva Altaj. This is Silent Lies. This is another mafia one. So they were set up in an arranged marriage. The hero is Grump. Grump Grump. He owns this like dark club that a lot of people frequent. That's where he first like meets the heroine, sets eyes on her, and she is known for sticking out of a crowd. She wears these like very loud, extravagant clothes, doesn't really care what other people think about her. She has been also tasked to betray the hero. So she has been asked to marry him and then get all of his secrets and report them to her like mafia boss um but then they fall for each other the hero knows what she's doing all the time so there's no like secret there honestly because he figures it out very quick <laughs> but um yeah definitely grumpy sunshine i love a grumpy sunshine in a mafia book i feel like it's it's delicious ruling sick fan by victoria aveline is another favorite of the year i freaking love this book so much <laughs> this is one of the latest books in the clicanian series and i think it's the latest book if I'm not mistaken um but yeah it's a daily romance book i do recommend at least reading book number one before you get to this one because i feel like you'd be a little bit lost with, like the world building and whatnot um because it doesn't really set up the planet as a whole i guess because like they're kind of supposed to be read in order but like you do you this one's my favorite for freaking sure and book number one is my second favorite so why not just read them both anyway <laughs> so the heroine of this story is one of the human women that got taken to clicania this alien planet and um she kind of gets kidnapped by sickthand who is a king of one of the areas of the planet in their area they're known for not having any technology like i've been loving in the other books in the series like they're so technologically advanced you can see all like the cool contraptions they have this area of the planet does not have any technology because they kind of ride these creatures kind of like dragons and the technology like frequency really pisses them off and like scrambles their brain like they hate like the frequency they can hear from technology technological devices and so they don't have any technology in this in this city and so like i actually love that i think i prefer alien romances like that because i love like ipv and the 
barbarian romances okay um so our hero is like the king and his men like his council are forcing him to get married to the human woman i think it'll like be better for like the people or something i don't know remember their reasons okay so these two don't really like each other the most um but the heroine doesn't know that the hero has been like stalking her secretly for a while there's like a two-way mirror in between their rooms and he watches her like all the time and he's like covered in tattoos like i freaking i freaking love this man he is so hot like he's so fine like the 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 art the art that victoria's commissioned for this man i can like drool over <laughs> for days and the last two books i want to quickly mention are holiday reads i know christmas is kind of coming up in like a few months so like put these on your list but these are grumpy sunshines that i have to recommend so first is chimera for christmas by ursa dax this one is so cute it's one of tiffany and i's like favorite like holiday alien romances and we talk about it all the time how much we love this one so our heroine actually is a human woman and she works at this um, like holiday space station and she gets a job as a barista in this like holiday drink shop and she meets the hero there who is um, I think like a minotaur kind of looking alien creature and he has a giant gruff grumpy alien dude and she's just this tiny little human woman who loves holiday cheer and it is so cute it is so cute and tiffany i love like the space station aspect it was so cool and then the last one that i want to mention is dear monster claws by Maeve black the heroine of the story she's a cupid so they're like multiple cupids and she sends a letter to santa claus like a bunch of letters she's like all she wants to find is love cupids are not allowed to fall in love because they help other people fall in love so that's like a big rule she's like but i just want love i want to find my person and our santa claus is actually this like demon looking dude no one knows that that's what he actually looks like and he gets these letters from cute these this cupid woman he's like okay it seems like she has like a lot of holiday cheer and he's lost his holiday cheer he's like so mopey and down and grumpy okay he goes to her finds her in like a little cabin in the woods and is like hey i'll help you find love if you help me find some christmas cheer so yeah it's actually really hot it's like a cute but hot romance super fun i loved it anyways there you have it those are some grumpy sunshine romances let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me like the devil horn or like evil dude emoji in the comment section down below because that reminded me of the the santa guy on the cover but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all